Why am I so riled up? Hello, 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 folk and flick, my imaginary friends. It's so good to see you today. I was browsing the news watches on the web and elsewhere and noticed that farm yields are down, which is something we're all going to have to watch because they're growing champagne grapes in the UK now, if you can believe that. So things are shifting, and we had better prepare ourselves for that. Also, if you're looking at this video, power lounging on the couch, or in bed at night before you go to sleep, make sure you use those blue blocker glasses. I have some. These block the blue. Because uh, looking at screens really messes up your sleep if you're doing that just before you go to bed or while you're in bed. And I posted a PDF on uh, sleep and screens, screen time, about uh, children and young people. So for you parents out there, you can go to Facebook uh, forward slash globe hackers, uh, one word, and find some curated uh, content there about science, engineering, technology, and the challenges that we face these days uh, moving forward our civilization and solutions to some of the problems or ways that we can cope at least with the changes that are happening and hopefully uh, you know useful information for you there um, I'll put it in the show notes uh, what else I read the first page of um, the zeitgeist movement explained and I realized you know it's not easy to narrate, to read a page of a book and record it. And it's a little bit of work to edit it in uh, GarageBand as well. Of course, I knew that, but I've never done this by myself, so this is kind of a new thing for me. Anyway, uh, it didn't come out that good, but hopefully in the future things will get dialed in and I'll get better and better at, at this as we go along. So I'm going to put that uh, audio and some video together uh, just so it's a little bit less boring. And um, I hope you'll listen to it and comment on what you think it all means. And I'm going to try to find uh, some people to talk to about the first essay. So uh, the plan is to uh, read a bit of this, record it, let you listen to it if you want to. Uh, hopefully, you'll get the book and read along. Um, and then maybe for each essay, I'll invite a few people and do kind of a podcasty thing where we discuss the finer points that the essay is making because, you know, it's nice to talk about it, you know, and, and I don't even mind talking to people that are going to rebut or refute, uh, whatever's in there because the whole idea is to get more clarity, a finer grain understanding on this approach to moving forward, this uh, train of thought, and uh, see if there's anything in there that we can act upon. You know, we can move and we can actually get something done, maybe somewhere, somehow. I know there are a lot of chapters of the Zeitgeist movement around the world, which is kind of exciting. I've never belonged to one. Um, maybe in the future I, I will, or create one. I don't know. But this is kind of the first step to digest this information a little bit more and kind of integrate it with, with the other reading that I'm doing because I, I read a lot and I'm very curious about things. Uh, unfortunately, I'm too thick to be an expert on anything. Uh, you know, I don't really mind. Being a generalist and kind of kooky is fine with me. Anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll put some links in the show notes, and I hope to see you uh, again tomorrow uh, or the next day. And I hope you enjoy this. If there's any feedback, constructive feedback that you can give me, please do. I realized if I'm sitting in certain parts of my apartment, uh, I should really lock down the white balance, do a custom white balance because the light is always changing outside this big soft light window that I have. And I, you know, it's kind of annoying when the colors change in the middle of a, of a, of a 
a, a blurb or a blah, blah. That's one tip for today. OK. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to each other. I hope all of your projects are going really, really well. And I hope you're having a blast, man. Make every minute count, OK? Talk to you soon. Goodbye, bye. All right, let's see how this goes here, folks. All right, everybody, folk and flick, my dear friends. This is Bouliam T here. And this is, uh, well, page five, but uh, there's a lot of websites and stuff at the beginning. Page one of the Zeitgeist Movement Defined. Realizing a new train of thought. Okay, this is page one. Part one, introduction, overview. Neither the great political and financial power structures of the world, nor the specialization-blinded professionals, nor the population in general, realize that it is now highly feasible to take care of everybody on earth at a higher standard of living than any have ever known. It no longer has to be you or me. Selfishness is unnecessary and henceforth unrationalizable, as mandated by survival. War is obsolete. That's a quote by R. Buckminster Fuller about. Founded in 2008, the Zeitgeist Movement, TZM, is a sustainability advocacy group that operates through a network of regional chapters, project teams, public events, media expressions, and charity operations. TZM's activism is explicitly based on nonviolent methods of communication, with the core focus on educating the public about the true root sources of many common personal, social, and ecological problems today. Coupled with the vast problem-solving and humanity-improving potential science and technology has now enabled, but yet goes unapplied due to barriers inherent in the current established social system. While the term activism is correct by its exact meaning, TZM's awareness work should not be misconstrued as relating to culturally common traditional activist protest actions such as we have seen historically. Rather, TZM expresses itself through targeted, rational educational projects that work not to impose, dictate, or blindly persuade, but to set in motion a train of thought that is logically self-realizing when the causal considerations of sustainability and public health are referenced from a scientific perspective. However, TZM's pursuit is still very similar to traditional civil rights movements of the past in that the observations reveal the truly unnecessary oppression inherent in our current social order, which structurally and sociologically restricts human well-being and potential for the vast majority of the world's population not to mention stifles broad improvement in general due to its established methods. For instance, the current social model, while perpetuating enormous levels of corrosive economic inefficiency in general, as will be described in further essays, also intrinsically supports one economic group or class of people over another, perpetuating technically unnecessary imbalance and high relative deprivation. This could be called economic bigotry in its effect, and it is no less insidious than discrimination rooted in gender, ethnicity, religion, creed, or the like. However, this inherent bigotry is really only a part of a larger condition that could be termed structural violence, illuminating a broad spectrum of built-in suffering, inhumanity, and deprivation that is simply accepted as normality today by an uninformed majority. This context of violence stretches much further and deeper than many tend to consider. The scope of how our 
socioeconomic system unnecessarily diminishes our public health and inhibits our progress today can only be recognized clearly when we take a more detached technical or scientific perspective of social affairs, bypassing our traditional, often blinding familiarities. So, that's the first page. Let's talk about it. Bog Standard. <laughs> 